Okay, we are going to solve practice problem 5.3 from Sadiku book and the question is about op M. So this is the circuit and then this the questions are first find the output voltage which is here so it will be V0 here that we are asked and then calculate the current through the feedback resistor here is the feedback resistor so feedback resistor is the resistor that connect the output of the op amp to the input of the op amp so the current that pass through it let's just name this current and let's just name this current i okay and here i will explain some hint about op amp so when we have op amp we always use this formula for ideal op amp so the voltage in the input terminals is the same so va and vb is the same va is equal to vb and then the current that going in into op amp is equal to zero so ia and ib is zero ampere and the last one this op amp is not a kcl node so ia plus ib is not the same as ic as you can see here, IA and IP is zero, but it is possible that we have IC going out there. Okay, and for analysis, we always use nodal analysis when we have op amp. Always use nodal analysis, not mesh or loop analysis. Okay. Okay, let's get started. Okay, we have this circuit here, and here we have our ground so the voltage here will be zero and this op amp is connected to the ground so this voltage here is also zero okay because this is an op amp the voltage at the input terminal will be the same so at this node the voltage will also be zero okay Okay, now let's do nodal analysis in this node. So let's name this node as node A, and we will assume the direction of the current. So I is going there, and I will have the current that goes to the op amp, and then this current is going to the right. Okay, let's do KCL at node A because we are using nodal, we will use KCL. So KCL at node A. And KCL state that the sum of the current that goes in is equal to the sum of the current that goes out. The current that goes in is only this current here. So I will have the voltage in this node, which is 45 millivolt. Okay, let's just write it as 45 multiplied by 10 to the minus 3. And then minus VA and then divide it by the resistance between it which is 4 kilo ohm so this is volt and this is kilo ohm we will have the current in milliampere and then this will equal to the currents that goes out and this current that going into the op amp is equal to zero and then this current I is, what is it, okay, VA minus V0, this is V0 from the ground, so V0 divided by the resistance between it, so I will have 280. Okay, now we can plug that VA is equal to 0. Remember, VA is equal to zero, so I will have this as 45 multiplied by 10 to the minus 3 over 4, and that will equal to, this zero is gone, VA is zero, so I will have minus V0 divided by 280. And then we can just rearrange this. So I will have V0 is minus 280 
multiplied by 45 multiplied by 10 to the minus 3 divided by 4 okay so this will cancel into 70 and then we will have v0 is equal to what is it let's just use calculator 70 times 45 multiplied by 10 to the minus 3 so I will have 3.15 milliampere I mean not milliampere 3.15 volt 3.15 volt so this is for V0 Okay, so we already solved this question and then we are going to solve the second question let me clean the board okay that this should be minus sorry okay now let's move this to the this okay now let's calculate i i can be easily calculated using ohm's law so it is va minus v0 divided by the value of the resistance that is 280 okay now va is 0 and v output is this value so i will have minus 3.15 and that will divide it by 280 so i will have 3.15 15 volt divided by 280 kilo ohm and we will have 0 0.01125 and the unit because this is volt and this is kilo ohm so I will have this as milliampere and we can convert it into microampere so I will have 11.25 microampere and this is the final answer for the question B. Calculate the current through the feedback resistor. So we have solved this. So the answer is this one and this one. Hopefully I did not make any mistake in the calculation. Uh, let me know if I did in the comments. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.